Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to fold a few things. First we're going to learn how to fold a t-shirt. You can lay it down. What I like to do is tuck the two sides in by your sleeves, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. Next, I'm going to show you socks. So you want to find the two that are matching and tuck one side over the other so it's ready to put away. Next, I'm going to show you how to fold a towel. There's a few ways to fold a towel, but what I found and what my mom taught me is to hold it out the long way, fold it in half, hot dog style, fold it in half again, so it's one long piece, and then fold it into thirds. That way it stacks nice and neat in your cupboard or wherever you keep it. I'm going to show you how to fold a sweatshirt. Some of you might hang them or you can put them away, you can stack them, just like a shirt. You can fold the arms in, make sure it's fairly even, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. Next I'm going to show you a pair of shorts. These are pretty easy. You just fold them in half, hot dog style, and then fold them in half, hamburger style. Next we're going to learn how to fold a pair of jeans. Just like the shorts, you fold them in half, and you can lay them down if you want. Fold them in half once, fold them in half again. Then we can stack nice and neat. Two more things. We're going to fold a blanket. So kind of like a towel, you're going to hold it out the long way, fold it in half. Now what I like to do is fold it in half hamburger style again, just so that it gets a little smaller, and then fold it in half one more time. I'll keep mine at the end of my bed. <laughs> the last one we're going to do is a fitted sheet. These ones can be tricky, so that's why we're going to learn. So you take the scrunch ends and you match them up and kind of fold it over the other one. That way, the ends meet up. Then you're going to do the same with the other side. Find the two ends and fold it over the other one. Now you've got a fairly normal looking sheet just with the scrunch ends. So from here, what I do, I'm not a master at this, but I can do it okay. I fold it in half so that it kind of looks like a square. Tuck the end in a little bit so that it's a little more of a square. Then I lay it down so I can kind of see what's going on. Fold it in half. Fold it in half again. <laughs> 